Welcome to the Today in History channel. In today's video we will talk about the day. May 3, 1902. First official soccer game in Brazil. The year, 1902. Local, Brazil, more particularly the city of Sao Paulo. That year, the period of the Old Republic, under the Rodriguez Alves government, was in force. Immigrants arrived in the country, and yellow fever claimed lives. In an overwhelmingly agrarian country, ports sent coffee abroad, and imported a range of products that the almost non-existent Brazilian industry could not offer. Men and women worked in rural daily life, the majority of whom was absolutely illiterate and, therefore, had no right to vote to elect their greatest representative in the republic. The Canudos tragedy was over and O.S. Certos, by Euclides de Cunha, had not yet reached readers. There was still 12 years to go before the outbreak of the First World War, and the cable cars traveled through the city, which is currently troubled by the traffic jam of an infinity of vehicles, huddled in an infinity of streets flanked by gigantic skyscrapers. Avenida Paulista boasted the mansions of the elite owner of coffee plantations and wealthy families, who could travel to Europe, at that time, only by ship. But a part of Europe that had come to Brazil had been absorbed by the nationals. A new sport, football. At the time, only the white elite could practice it, and the participation of black men was forbidden. Racism was a much more visible reality at the beginning of the 20th century. In that year, 1902, in Sao Paulo, there would be a historic act for the cultural, social and sporting life of the Brazilian. The first official soccer game in Brazilian lands would be played. The teams were the Athletic Association Mackenzie College, 1898, and the Sport Club Germania, 1899. The first wore his striped shirt uniform, long sleeves and shorts that reached the athlete's knees. Germania came with his shirt split in half, a blue side and a black side, black shorts and socks. These uniforms would cause strangeness to current fans, as there were still no numbers placed on the back on the shirts. The rules were also different. There was no penalty, no half moon in the wide area. The judges came in to referee the match wearing their shorts to the shins, socks and jacket and tie. There were no cleats, with the athletes fighting for the match of shoes, heavy shoes. The event was really historic. It inaugurated the first soccer match of the Football League of Sao Paulo and Brazil, in addition to being the first game of the first football competition organized in the country. He was beaten by Mackenzie, 2-1. In the sports edition of the newspaper O Estado de Sao Paulo on January 4, 1902, a brief news about the match was published. It is worth noting that, recently arrived in the country, football still had terms in English to describe the plays, the position of the players, and the times of the game. The term competitor stands out to define the opponent, and the description of how one of the players, Mr. Kersher, center forward, manages to make escape, escape, and score a goal. Football. Match. 1902 Championship. At 3 o'clock yesterday afternoon, at Parque de Antarctica Paulista, the first match organized by the Paulista Football League was held, between SC, Germania and AA, from McKenzie College, with a large number of families. In the first half-time, Mr. Mario Eppingau scored a goal for McKenzie. It is true that the McKenzie team has much more speed than its competitor, and, due to this, from beginning to end, the ball remained more favorable to Mackenzie. A few minutes before the halftime, Mr. Kirschner, center forward of Germania, managed to escape and Dahi score the first goal of SC, Germania. Unfortunately, Club Germania lost in the first halftime. One of its best players, Mr. Muss, who was badly injured in a fall, however, this player was replaced by another one. It was only in the 1920s that black and poor players would become champions in a football club with Vasco da Gama, a Rio de Janeiro team, the first to win a championship with a team made up of men with these characteristics, who aroused the repulsion of elites formerly monopolizing the practice of Breton sport. After the departure of 1902, the country would see in 1950, that is, 48 years later, the realization of a World Cup on Brazilian soil. Did you like the video? In the description you will find the blog link with the full article, give an incentive by subscribing to the channel, liking, commenting and sharing with your friends, hugs. Until the next.